Hello, uh, this is Immigration Lawyer Watabe. We started a new project called Torzo Series. Torzo means let's get it. In this series, we will explain about various license that is necessary when you want to start some familiar business. My specialty is immigration law, and business license is not my field. So for this series, my colleague lawyer from Office Beyond will explain together with me. Let me introduce my colleague Hiroshi Ogata. He has double license and is a specialist about business field. Ogata sensei, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. We will explain license like export of used car, restaurants, bars, pubs, import of foods and goods, handling real estate, rental of real estate, beauty salons, construction, hotels, travel, taxi, overseas remittance, and more. Not only you cannot do business without license, but also if you do business without license, your visa might be in danger. You need to take extra care of it. Today, let's start with Kobutsu license. Kobutsu is a Japanese word, means used items. This is sign board. You need to display it in public when you start Kobutsu business. You can buy it after when you get Kobutsu license. Well, we are not doing Kobutsu business really. So see, this is our office name, but here it's not a Kobutsu license number. This is uh, my office uh, telephone number. So it is just a sample. So don't call me when you want to buy your used cars. Anyway, let's start Kobutsu license. Okay, who need Kobutsu license? If you want to start a business with a used item, you need Kobutsu license. For example, used car sales and export, online shop of used goods, etc. Oh, I sometimes sell my used clothes online. Do I need Kobutsu too? No, such case you don't need it. If you buy used clothes online and sell them, you need license. If you just sell your own used items, license is not needed. Phew, I'm relieved. But why we need Kobutsu license when we do business with used items? It is because selling and buying used items are likely to lead you to get involved into illegal stolen items business and illegal trading. Oh, I see. That's scary. What happens if we do business without license? Good question. If police find you are doing business without license, you might be arrested and sentenced to be in jail less than three years and less than three million fine. Wow, three million fine, I see. If so, it might be the reason of rejection of visa extension too. Where can we get COVID's license? You can get it at the police station where your company address or office is located. Do I need to register a company before applying COVID too? No. You don't need it. You can apply Kobutsu without a company. You can do business as a solo proprietor. <laughs> 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 uh, it's very difficult for me to pronounce uh, the word. Let's make it easier in Japanese word. Kojin jigyo. Much easier. You can do Kobutsu business as Kojin jigyo. But you need to register your business at the tax office. I see. Solo proprietor, coding jigyo. <laughs> Let's use coding jigyo here. <coughs> How about an office? Can I apply COVID with my residential address? You can. But some residential property cannot be used as office use. So you had better confirm it with the owner at first. 
I see. Please explain more about what I need to submit, how much it costs, and how long it takes. Application forms are about 10 pages, and you can download it from police website, or you could get it at the police station. And you need to get Jumin Hyo from City Hall. If you have a company, you need to submit company Tohon original and take a copy. If you are Kojin Jigyo, your Jumin Hyo and ID is necessary. You are foreign residents, so residence card, Zaidu card is okay for you as ID. Some police station doesn't grant you COVID license if your visa status doesn't allow you to engage in business. I see. So if your visa is a student, working visa like Engineer Humanities International or designated activity visa as a refugee applicant, you cannot get license. Right. In addition, if you already have registered your business at tax office, copy of notification for your business, kaigyo todoke, is necessary. Among the application documents, there is another format you need to fill in five-year working information, and you need to sign on the pledge form. Everything is written in Japanese, and you are supposed to fill in only in Japanese. Only in Japanese. And of course, before putting your signature, you need to understand fully what is written on that pledge. In the pledge, you can see what you have to do and what you must not do. If you break the pledge, you would get in big trouble. All oh, Japanese, how can we sign the pledge without understanding? Generally, if you apply some license in Japan, application format and instruction are all in Japanese. If you hire a lawyer, he could prepare all documents for you, but without understanding content, signing on the documents would be very risky. You had better understand well before applying. Therefore, our office is now making handbook in English. Inside this handbook, you can see the application format, pledge, and instruction all in English. Yes, if you see our handbook, you would understand more about Kobutsu application. As of the application cost, when you submit the application at police station, you need to pay yen by revenue stamp. If everything is okay, you could get COVID license in a few weeks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, few weeks. Not so long time like a visa application. It is good. By the way, we need to speak Japanese well for applying COVID. Good question. Uh, for many locations, you don't need to speak Japanese well, but most police officers cannot speak English. You need to communicate with him in Japanese somehow. And for some locations like Chiba, they require your company hires someone who can read and write Japanese. I see. So. Better to uh, use a uh, I mean, English lawyer for, like us. So, uh, do I need to go to police by myself? If you want, we Gyosei Shoshi lawyer can submit your application as your representative at police station. Oh, that's convenient. See, this is our office information. Please contact us if you need uh, our support. Well, after getting COVID license, is there something you need to do as a license holder? Yes, you need to put the sign board of license where anybody can see it. You can make the board by yourself or buy it at the police station. 
the one I showed you in the beginning. This is a signboard. Yes. Moreover, you need to make sure who is a seller is by checking his ID. Then you need to record your business. You have to keep the record at office in case of policies investigation. Everything is in order not you to get involved into criminal cases. Police investigation will sound scary again. I don't want to confront such situation. Once I get COVID license, is there any validity? Can I use it forever? Well, COVID license is not expired generally, so it would be valid forever. But if you or your company change address or name, you need to register the change at police. Oh, even when my residence address changed, I need to register it at police station. Okay, I see. Yes, and one thing I have to tell you, April 2020, the law of COVID changed, so, if you have not done new re uh, registration before and after April 2020, your COVID is already expired. It is no more valid. If you do business with such invalid COVID, what you are doing is illegal business. Oh, really? I need to tell it to my friends. What can he do now? Please let him contact my office. He needs to re-register COVID license as soon as possible. Our office beyond support your COVID application. Our service is 60,500 yen, including tax basically. If you want to ask to submit application at police station, extra fee is charged. And the important is you need to keep following COVID sales law always. Police is checking regularly your business and if necessary, they visit your office and yard to see if you follow the rule. As I mentioned earlier, we are now making COVID license handbook in English for foreign residents. You can see the application forms with English instruction, English translation plates, and what you need to do for doing COVID business and so on. So, okay, unfortunately, we have not completed yet. Once we are ready to sell, I will advertise on our Facebook. If you are interested in it, please contact our office. At last, if you are falling resident in Japan, you need to hold appropriate visa status for doing business at first. Even if you have COVID license, if your visa status doesn't allow you to get involved into business, you cannot do it. Thank you for watching our video till end. This is the first video of our Torzo license series. We are planning to release more videos about other popular licenses like restaurants, bar, food sales, real estate business, construction, recruiting service, and lots more. If you have an interest of some particular license, please let us know. I hope you understand more about COVID license now. What license are you looking for? Everybody, learn more about license and let's get it. Let's get it. Torzo! Torzo!